It has been nine years since I left my village to come to the capital. During this time, I have witnessed and heard of many affairs of state, but none of them have made a lasting impact on me. I feel more and more agitated as the days pass by. However, one small incident has remained in my mind ever since. It was a winter day in the sixth year of the Republic, and a strong northerly wind was blowing. As I was on my way to work, I had to hire a rickshaw and told the puller to take me to the south gate. After the wind died down, the streets were cleaned of dust, and the rickshaw was quickly making its way towards the south gate. Suddenly, a woman with white streaks in her hair appeared in front of us. She was wearing tattered clothes that were unbuttoned and fluttering in the wind, which got caught in the shafts of the rickshaw. Fortunately, the puller had slowed the rickshaw down so the woman only fell to the ground. She stayed in that position until I asked her if she was okay. I was irritated that the rickshaw puller had stopped and seemed to be getting himself involved in some kind of trouble that would delay and cause difficulties for my journey. I tried to tell him to move ahead, but either he didn't hear me or he didn't care. He gently helped the old woman to her feet and asked if she was okay, to which she replied that she was hurt. I thought she was pretending her injury and the rickshaw man was making things difficult for himself, but he didn't hesitate and took her to the police station. As they passed by, I experienced a strange sensation and felt like his dust-covered figure was growing bigger and bigger until I had to look up to follow him. I felt a bodily pressure coming from him, and it was almost like it pushed out all the smallness that was in me. I was stunned and thoughtless until an officer emerged from the station. He told me to get another rickshaw and without thinking, I took out a bunch of coppers and gave them to the puller. The wind had completely stopped blowing but the street was still silent. As I walked, I pondered the situation, almost too afraid to ponder what had taken place before. I tried to find an explanation for why I had given the rickshaw puller a fistful of coins. Was it a reward? Did I think my behavior was good enough to make a judgment? I couldn't answer my own question.